Well, hello there and welcome to the last photo challenge in this 12 week photo challenge series. Oh wow, time has really flown by. For this last photo challenge, I decided we're gonna go really back to the basics and this week's theme is going to be reflections. So for this one, I invite you to use whatever surface that creates a reflection. So that could be a window, a puddle of water or a mirror. And for this one, I'm going to do a good old mirror self-portrait or a mirror selfie. And I'm also going to show you how I style this space that isn't super ideal for this, but with some small tweaks, how I'm going to make it really perfect for this photo challenge and my mirror selfie. When taking self-portrait, using mirrors is a really good place to start because you don't have to set up a tripod or anything. You can actually use that reflection and take a photo just by pointing your camera to the mirror. And if you don't want to have your friends in there, you can also hide behind the camera, which is also a nice alternative to have. I'm going to use using this space for my mirror self-portrait and I've actually done a photo here a few years back so I thought I would recreate this and make it really 2021. Now my tip when you're going to choose your location is to never sacrifice location for light. So start out by locating a space where you have the best light. So I'm here by the window so I'll get some good light and it comes from the side which is also really optimal to create that depth in your photo. The thing you want to be really mindful about when you're going to take a mirror self-portrait is to think about all the things that are going to frame the actual mirror. So in my case, I'm going to use these plants, which are going to bring some really nice texture and even more depth to my photo since they have this very green, deep color and they have a pretty unruly nature and all these leaves are going in all kinds of directions. I chose a very romantic tool dress which has some very delicate details to create a contrast between these and also I'll make sure that I will pop in the photos. Once I was happy with my setup, I got off my camera and started to snap away. I did a few different variations. So I first sat on the floor, then I took some standing up and tried to bring my best posing game. Now to make this more interesting, I actually bought this disposable camera, which I haven't used in years. And I thought it would be fun to take some photos and compare them to my digital camera and this disposable camera. I spent quite some time taking photos and even in different locations with this disposable camera. But unfortunately, because I am such an inexperienced film photographer or working with film, I didn't realize that it was way too dark for the photos that I didn't use to flash with. So they didn't catch on to the film at all. So that was a bit of a bummer. And if you're going to take a disposable camera, just realize that you need to have much more light or use the flash function to get your photos. But it was still a good learning experience. I did try one more reflection themed idea, which was to do a photo through a window. And I saw this little trick on TikTok a while back. So I spritzed some water on one of the windows to create the illusion of rain. And then I thought it would look nice to have these flowers that have a very vibrant color. So it will create a nice contrast between these moody, rainy, gray colors. And actually these turned out pretty nice with the disposable camera. I really liked these broken blacks so where the blacks are almost gray and I find this mood quite charming it's pretty melancholic and it really has that disposable camera vibe I think here are how my mirror self-portrait photos turned out I couldn't be happier I really like the mood and the colors and I tried to edit them in a little bit of a vintage vibe I added quite a lot of grain and spent a long time getting the colors just right to get that very dreamy look I even added this rainbow lens flare effect from the app called rookie cam because I've been really enjoying to play around with some effects lately and I feel really happy with how these photos turned out for this last photo challenge. Now it's your turn to go out there and take some reflection photos. And again, you're welcome to interpret this in your own way. Thank you so much, everybody who's taken part in this 12 week photo challenge series. If you haven't completed all the photo challenges, don't worry, you can complete them in any time. I'll still go in and look at the hashtag Kikas photo challenge and come in there and support and cheer you on. And I can't wait to see what you will create. Maybe I'll make another photo challenge series like this uh, at some point, or maybe we could even do it on Instagram instead. Let me know in the comments below and let me know which photo challenge was your favorite. 
I've had so much fun creating all these challenges and all the Mindset Monday videos for the past 12 weeks. It's been intense, but I've really enjoyed it and I've learned so much and I feel like I've gotten to know you also much more. So thank you again for taking part and I will see you soon again over here or on Instagram. All right, you guys, thank you so much and well done. Hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet, hello.